The first question is, did I not agree, did you not agree with me for a denarius? It's right there in verse 13, chapter 20, verse 13. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? A way that you might paraphrase that question is, is God asking you, did you not receive from me exactly what I promised to give? Did I promise to give you a new car? Did I promise to give you a new house? Did I promise to give you any of those things? No, I promise to give you eternal life. And so why are you envying the new house and the new car or the new whatever from somebody else's life when you should be focused on what I promised to give to you? I didn't, I didn't renege on my promise. I didn't fail to do what I promised to do. You've been given every spiritual blessing in the heavenlies in Christ Jesus. Celebrate the grace of God in your own life and it'll break the power of envy. Be thankful for the grace of God in your own life. That instead of focusing on the worldly treasures that you do have or don't have or somehow thinking that somehow God's giving you those things because you're really impressive, uh, just re return to that place where you first entered the Christian life where you saw the glory of Christ at the cross. You were humbled, poor in spirit, received salvation in that way and that humility and, um, and, and sense of contentment that the gospel first brought is where you need to remain if you're going to enjoy life in the kingdom. So celebrate the grace of God in your own life. There is, as Andy Stanley says, there's no win in comparison. And when, especially in Christmas, when we get that tendency to look at what somebody else has or what God's given to them, you know, our preachers are the worst about this. You know, I wish my church was that big. He's not even a good preacher, you know. <laughs> not that I've ever thought that, but it, that's a trap. And it's, it has no place in the kingdom.